Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more Baldur's Gate 3. And we're going to revisit the Tower of Lenore. But first, I'm going to put up with all Astarian's crap forward. again because he's going to... Look, I really want to see that patched out. That is so annoying and unnecessary. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Hang on. Is there some way? Right. You know, like this. So first off, I'm just checking he doesn't have any items that we absolutely desperately need. This doesn't seem to be a component. But even so. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Stay here and don't give me your uh, empty containers. Sorry, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. No! Why? Why? Seriously, why? I don't need this. I don't need this shit. Why? This is stupid and it's infuriating. Where did these come from? It's so dumb. It really is dumb. What's in here? We literally... Yeah, he didn't even... I literally opened it and checked and it was not there. There's definitely something annoying going on here. Now, as we're going to return to the tower, we could take Will. But I think I'm going to take someone else for a blatantly obvious reason. Anyone want to guess who that is? I'll give you a hint. It's this person. Not much of a hint, admittedly, but hey, I need you to come with me for a bit. It is done. Glad to hear it. Now let's get out of camp. So obviously I don't need to redo this section, but at the end of the last episode, I made a late night sleepy ginormous cock up in an attempt to reduce my encumbrance values. And I ended up accidentally reducing the ingredients a mellow woman needed to heal me into alchemical components that I could use for other stuff. So, let's head on upstairs and not make that mistake again. Everything else Within in here went rather well. Is his sanctum, private place for research and respite. But as this wizard's not home, I say we take a peek. Exactly. No, don't. Yeah, just step outside a moment. I'm also thinking. I have Lazelle with me here. More for me. And then when I ascend to the roof, I might bring Karlak instead. Like the owner was quite the literary type. Okay.
30s. Gail, you know best how to traverse a wizard's domain. Lead the way. And he's ever so excited at all the things he can find and touch and read. No, it isn't. Adventure awaits. I'm not going to take any from moldy food. this time I'm going to pay heed to every single thing in here. Just like last time, just to make sure I don't miss any of it a second time through. if some of these could be knocked down. Probably not a good idea. And we still don't know what that hidden button, it's not that hidden, you know, the unobvious button, what it does. And I'm almost certain it will do something. But first, to musk spores. Glazelle is not impressed by Gales thorning over the various assorted things in this collection. In fact, she probably imagines he's wasting time. Uh, these might be a bit risky. Let's just not touch them not at all. The problem. Okay, they don't seem to have triggered just yet. But we do have one more doorway to open here. For some reason that looked like candles in front of the railings. Well, in we go. And back to the lift once again. All in. Up we go. This is the floor with the defensive turrets. And here's one of them right away. Maybe that switch just turns the lights on and off. Why speak with animals here? The priestess who stayed here did have a dog. So maybe she brewed that potion so she could communicate with it even more closely than before.
Yeah, that's the one gale right there. So now that we can more safely explore this location, let's have a peek inside. Let us do so. I think I've checked these already, but I want to make absolutely sure. Mm -hmm. This is the one we don't read. Unless we want to fight. And for that fight, I was thinking the aura that does electrical damage and Kylax's ability to take half damage from everything when she's really riled up fails. Yes, we know. It's very magical. It doesn't feel it right now. Um, scroll of Mage Armor. Arcane lights. How delightful. There must be something we can do with this. And I suspect we may need to come back to do it at some point if I'm too tired now to work it out. So, Karlak's ability to take half damage from the aura would make her good at protecting everyone else from it. However, another thing that might be really helpful in that situation would be the Susur Blue, which cancels out magic. Because while it's electricity and possibly not counting as magic, Any time to rest? it's counting as a magic effect by the game, so it might work. Ah, excellent Up choice. We go. Now, this is where the real fun begins. Because we brought our Gif Yankee friend along to help us please, please enjoy please. this place. I believe down here is where our special thing is. For now though, we're just going to carefully explore. We're not going to try and walk on that pipe. And we're going to read all of these again, just like before. But remember, I read these in the last episode, and I'm trying not to repeat as much as I have to. Uh, not trying not to repeat more than I absolutely have to. So we have this wonderful portrait here. No. Blackets will be done. Shame. Ah. Um, right, I gave this to Jaria last time. Onward. So, that pillar's down. Let's strut... I mean, that's blatant right there. Highly illuminated. Hang on. There's 
button must have had a use once. But was it worth reaching so far down for? I was wondering if the button. That's the second button time. must have had a use once. But was it worth reaching so far down for? Let us continue to light up the place. Let's give this a try. And yes, we're going to look at that in a few moments. Don't worry. Wait. It's here. We'll even get a little bit of light there, too. Lovely. And here. Much more helpful. So, now, that looks very dangerous, Lazo. Oh, this again. So this is a random book. We've had this before. Yeah, we'll hold off on that for a moment. And that. Once again, he's eating up our money just as he eats up... Oh, hello. Amap's memoirs. These are new. My life has been a long succession of pleasures. To see my town, take to my ideas and cease legal discrimination of local orcs. To see my fights against horrid living conditions in city factories take off. A bit like Charles Dickens. To have the chance to see a new generation take to these ideas of a better, kinder, fairer, intelligent world and run with it to new reaches of the continent. It was not a life without struggle, however, and I shall regret its failures. My old friend Suelto comes to mind who adopted such cruel ideologies late in life. I will forever console myself in the idea that such a brilliant mind would only conceive such theories under the strain of exile and the promise of reinstatement as she ultimately was. Interesting. This feels like a blatant allegory for some things that are going in on in our own world politically at the moment and I'm just going to state that and leave it at that and not go any further. Academic disclosure. This research was funded independently and conducted at a site in Avernus, the first plane of the Nine Hells. Candlekeep does not encourage or promote the entrapment of mortal souls. Soul coins, as a concept, are one of merciless simplicity. The sum of personal and magical essence for soul is bound into a minted piece of infernal iron and used as currency by devils and their cohort. They are frequently traded for their value can purchase mercenaries, magical items, and even fuel the strange engines in the hells. However, there is a fascinating culture surrounding soul coins as well. I spoke to a devil who admitted she has one coin that she will never sell, for it was the bargain that got her promoted out of Lemur status. Yes, Lemur, not Lemur. Not Lemur. It's not a monkey. She connected me to a half-elf warlock who had promised his soul to a coin after death. I was able to look at his contract, which is reproduced below. Oh, hello. This might help us with Will, in a way. It's not the same as a contract he's got, but the way it's set up may be similar. 
The next 50 pages appear to be a painstakingly written legal document in Infernal with a headache-inducing number of footnotes. Quite right, too. Hey, there's more candles. And we have this play. Mm. Handwritten letter. Well, we've read that once before. Ah, oh, yes, it's about the dog. From her friend Amarif. Wait. Now, what else? We've seen that painting before, haven't we? Right. Okay, lady. Stand as close as you can. If we need to... Okay. We will find a way. Without delay. Oh, of course, to the grave. Yes. Everything is to the grave. Another one of the many documents relating to mind flayers that we have come across. Almost as if someone has been spreading their knowledge, their lore, in these parts. Quite possibly themselves. Forthwith. Although it also reminds me of the little grey men. Right, where is that? Scrap of parchment. Ah, it's this one, right. Now, Lazel. This is going to potentially get very interesting. Can we take this book? This appears in your mind's eye. Lazel sees it too and considers the vision. Tissue markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense. No. Wait. The texts are enciphered, but I've solved the pattern. It's a story about about Orpheus. Your head buzzes and in she? concert with Lazelle's, but it hardly matters. Even without the connection, you'd recognize her discomfort. What is a tear sue? Githyanki writing. Every word a wheel. Every letter is spoke. The most powerful texts are engraved in slate. Some so ancient, only the most erudite Gish can read them. You're using second edition slang for a multi-class fighter magic user? Ugh. And who do you believe Orpheus to be? A traitor. A dead one. This text is heresy. I can hardly bear to read it, let alone speak it. Look, you'll be fine. Tell me what it says, and then I can bear the burden and you can let it out of your mind. Very well. I will read it to you. The Prince of the Comet, Part 1. So it was that we were free from gay shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered, and one great empire was divided in two. Gith travelled to the Hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Vlakith would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Lies. Gith made no such proclamation. Vlakith seized the Empire against the Mother's wishes. But Gith had nurtured a son, Orpheus, 
prince of the comet, the true heir. He knew Vlacket's treachery. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The war of the comet had begun. Disregard this, this drivel. Gith declared Vlacketh queen of the empire and her own son defied her. Orpheus would have ceded control to the Geich. Hmm. I'm not going to dismiss this as merely a story. It reeks of propaganda, an attempt to foment discontent. What if it's true? It sounds like Vlakif betrayed Gif and seized the throne. She did nothing of the sort. Thank your good fortunes, I'm a tolerant woman. Or I'd have sliced off a few toes for suggesting it. Now, we're not done quite yet. Oh, she's so angry she's going to light that candelabra. Proceeding. Now, so maybe she just doesn't need this at all. An engraved disc of Githyanki origin, containing a complex cipher that can decrypt ancient Gif dialects. A useful discovery if one should encounter such archaic writings. I imagine... Alright. What now? Speak. No option. Yeah, I imagine now we don't need to talk to her about this. I also imagine there's going to be multiple chapters of this to search for. One moment, please. Oh dear, that's annoying. Oh, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. I've got a trapped sneeze that doesn't want to come out. It's bothersome. Right, so where are we? We read a book about the lost Prince Orpheus. It claims that Vlakif is not the true queen of the Githyanki, and that Prince Orpheus is the true heir. You know, this challenge is one of Lazel's most deeply held beliefs. And that is a serious... Wait. The artifact one... Mm, I don't know about this. Now. What am I going to do? Don't waste a step. I can arguably descend to the lowest level of the tower and go pick up the Susur Blossoms, take them with me to Omeluum, and then return here at any time without grinding them down for parts. Can get there, it's right there. I've opened the front door so I can return here at any point that I desire to, provided I don't pass some kind of point of no return. And we all know there's one of those nearby. Now. Is it indeed? It's a hole. At least it will be when we finish working with our spade. Oh, very nice. That's a spell Gale can already cast. So, 
arguably taking one of these up to the roof of the tower would be a good fun thing to do. Door. There we go. <laughs> ah. It's right here. You know how it walks. It's it's flat or angled and your feet go on it. Do I want to ascend to the uppermost floor now? I believe I do. And I believe there was at least one more. One more dialogue option that I'd missed before. Was it to the grey? Oh, I think it was. Wait, why have we not taken this with us? I will save Lazel the horror. Such a strange. Disc. And mental torment. Are these Githyanki markings? Lazel might know. Don't do it, it would piss her off. She's already talked about it. Um, I'm not going to force her to carry what she considers to be um, an anathema, a heresy, upon her person. But I'll carry it for future reference. Up we go. Move down to the damper like a pressure break. Is it the foe? That foul contemptuous heel. You know these words. They are from the opening stanza of a play you found in this very tower. Or art thou friend, a rescue from my lonely wake? How much of love for me? Don't get me wrong. I love poetry as much as an ex wizard, but using it to command an automaton seems a bit self indulgent to me. How can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkest me? Don't. To this one, this one. So the other one is missing. Who are you? An unbeknownst command that I cannot fulfill. Let's try another one you can't fulfill. What is this place? An unbeknownst command that I cannot fulfill. Hmm. How can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkest me? If you do not believe the secret show, reveal it to what you wish to see. What would I reveal? Now. I blatantly can reach this, it's right here. Right here. Light the sodding candle, you ninny. It's a lot of broken, oh, hello. The paper is torn and patched in many places as if it was well used, but treasured. On it is a small poem without a name. These empty sheets are all that's left of you, the last of all the thoughtless gifts you gave. I will hold on to them. It's all that I can do. I can't throw them away. I've never been that brave. 
Well, hello. Oh, shit. Did we just start a fight? I hope we didn't. Oh, it lets us cast the light spell. Perfect. Probably shouldn't try and do this with the Susu Bark upon me. But. <laughs> is there. These empty sheets are all that's left of you. The last of all the thoughtless gifts you gave. Face spellbook sheets. What have we been given? I see nothing. I feel bad. I don't appear to have received anything. Possibly because of the mag anti magic aura. Oh dear. Right. I feel... Oh, there's something over there, isn't there? Yeah, look, let's just go back to Omeluum. We can return here if we need to later on. And of course, this flower that grants such a powerful anti-magic effect should absolutely disrupt the magic of abusing fast travel. But as we could technically be just walking the whole journey, it might not be that fast. It actually seems to be okay. Now. We have an acquaintance to visit. Here we go. I greet you, child of the sun. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? I found those mushrooms you were looking for. These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Omeluum turns away to prepare the potion, lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire draught. I can make no promises as to its taste. What exactly is this going to do to me? It will lower the psionic defenses around the lava. If I cannot remove it, I may still be able to tell you more about its origin. Is this a... Omeloa watches you with cautious intensity. Oh. It expects doubt. It expects fear. I shouldn't give him the satisfaction. But he expects me to be cautious. He thinks I'm intent. Yeah, sure. What aren't you telling me? Is this experiment dangerous? Only in that you may be a danger to yourself. What the potion may make you see or feel, I cannot determine. But unless you are already a step from death, it will not kill you. I see. Then I shall consume the potion. The acidic liquid tightens your throat, burning on the way down. It's a bolt of agony straight to your stomach. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, 
You may find yourself acting irrationally. Try oh and dear. stay focused. This may be difficult. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. Hmm. So I'm not supposed to be resisting, I'm supposed to be focusing on it and seeing what I can learn from this. Or rather seeing what he can learn from it. I got my shield. Got my help. Hey, there we go. A few sparks and colours dance around Omelu. But you stay steady and staring ahead. The tackle spasms, seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it means to hollow out your skull. Um, what am I supposed Drown out the tadpole by focusing on a tune. Wall off your mind from the psychic seizure. Um, intelligence. No, I'll I'll go with this. I will turn to my faith to protect me. Alistair, preserve me in this time of need. The cold blades lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning that tide of fear against itself. The parasite swells with power. More power than you have ever felt before. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. The parasite in your mind quiets, pleased with itself. Hmm. Omeluan, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. Gr You're supposed to make it weaker, not stronger. That's chastising him. That's also a potion very dangerous. I felt it grow inside me. There's more power than ever. Such an outcome was not in my calculations. There is more to this being than mere stasis. So I went through all this and the tadpole still lodged in my brain. Indeed. Although... I may uh -oh. have another <laughs> solution, albeit a temporary one. I possess a ring of mind shielding. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava, but it will limit its influence, both positive and negative. I would offer it as a gift. But, in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? That's a very good question. Gold isn't going to do it. How about I tell you about that Nautiloid in every last detail? A fascinating topic indeed. What can you tell me? I need to tell about the instant transformation. Uh, performance? Um... I... he... look, I'm not so good at this, but he would appreciate this more. A detailed logical analysis of the Nautiloid. With all the help I can get, please. Okay. 
inspiration time. Oh, that's so much better. And I know I was saving that for Gale and the magical box. But I hope he will appreciate this. What a brilliant experience. To feel one step closer to my ancestors is a fine gift indeed. But I thought he wanted nothing to do with them. Here, it is yours. May it serve you as well as it has served me. To deal with this abomination, nigh unthinkable. Yet even Vlacketh herself could not deny the ring's merit. Of course, the lava remains. Be ever vigilant of its growth. Have you spoken with Scris lately? Now, let us see what I have gained. Saving throws against being charmed. Look, it might do more than that, but that's certainly good enough. Um, now. You know what I'm going to do? Okay. Enough waiting. I crave blood. She's generally not so good on her knowledge skills as Gail. Mm. I applaud your taste. Um Also these are both pretty good for him. No one back home will ever believe this. Um, so. Where is it? Where is this blasted flower? I'm going to send this back to camp. Breathe deep. Mm. Lazel was remarkably open-minded about dealing with Omeluum. We must have explained about his unique situation. We'll be clearing out soon enough. You come across a noble stock mushroom about, you give it here. Gods know I've earned it. Yep. Hey, lady. Let's buy and sell stuff. Um, if the worry here was a po okay, it's so a poison. Only pluses. Plus two is something. Um, would give me better saving throws. So not massively brilliant. Arguably worthwhile, but I should be. Ugh. Mate, we can send Vibus to camp. You know what? 
there's a price, a value, and it's one we would appreciate. Now. Just for one, we're unlikely he's to need more than one at any point in time. Um, I'm still thinking there might be some use of these precious metals later on. Perhaps some kind of forging machine. There we go. Um, ugh. Not ideal. Okay. Watch some next time. So where to next? Obviously, down here at the boat is good, but bark from a susu tree, not the blossoms, is something we did come down here for. And we've already defeated the great bullet, so let's go see if we can find that bark in this area. We already know the tree is down that way, but let's explore over here and see what we can find. I spy a nasty, horrible monster. What else could be out this way? Everybody failed? Well, we know what this usually means. It means, where's my spade? feet juts upwards, forming a perfectly engraved tombstone with a small epitaph. Hmm. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world, may you forever gaze upon the lake you loved to play in. Oh. You realize it was made with stone shape, a powerful spell to waste on a grave. This was Lenore's dog. I'm not going to dig up the grave. I'll put a bundle of autumn crocus next to the tombstone. Because this is what Lenore would have done. The wind softly rustles the flower petals. Somehow, the grave feels whole again. You know, I'm going to leave it at that. And then maybe in between episodes, I'll reread the document relating to that and see if there's anything I want to do. Like Where come back here and find good that? treasure. That's a very long jump. <gasps> Lazel, you know what to do. Get violent on it. And again. That's better. No bonus action? Pommel strike or anything? Apparently not. Now. Lucky. 
keep it simple. There may be other great foes about. Well, that's just really unfortunate. There we go. Well, obviously I don't want to use that. You know what? That was unfortunate. Better get some healing in. Oh, it's focusing. You know what? Give him a little bit of a taste of arcane power. The lady, that is tragic. Keep it up. Uh, short rest? You know what? Short. And again, and a fourth time. Much better. There we go. Oh, it's really focusing hard. So at this point, I'm treating this as a minor encounter. Although it's heavily armoured. Victory awaits. There may be more of them about. Eager for battle. A hook. With which we can craft All something. Well ends. Not as bad as it could have. Hello? I spy with my little eye something beginning with evil bastard. Philro is the... Wait. Can I? Get a line. I have a scroll of lightning bolts somewhere here. It's not blocked, it's right there. You're being very awkward, game. Here we go. Time to strike. All right, girl. Make way. Where can you go? Let's experiment. Oh, that worked a treat. What fools these mortals be. So what we want to do now is fly. Way, way, way up to here. Wait. No. Yes. Pray he doesn't get pushed off by a monster. Uh oh. Got to press on. Okay. Remove by taking damage or when held. Hey, guess what? That's a lot of damage. Okay. Look, that thing's going to come for us if we don't go for it. It may go for him. But it appears to be his friend. Ow, oh, that's a lot. Okay. So, let's power that up. Secure. 
Help is a main action. Disengage is also a main action. I shall take the attack of opportunity. And she will grab him and give him a jolly good shake. Right then, says Gale. I spy with my little eye, something beginning with you're gonna die. That'll do. I can't get both. I mean, really, I want to go for, like, a five. One, two, three, four, five. Torment. Not ideal, but it'll work. To focus. Now, it's already had its reaction. big healing potion and there we go yeah that's not good for us We're attracting too much attention. yep Fury. I'm dead. well be ferocious over here and deadly too and again and I didn't short rest That is something we probably want very soon. For now, though... That's good, I hope. It's not much, but it is something. Oh yeah, keep attacking her. Now, I don't see his reinforcements just yet. And that's probably for the best right now. The dice roll in my favor. Well, I mean, you never know, right? At this point, though... Wait... No energy resistances. Okay. Black oh, that's so unfair. Right. Ah. Back up. We want to create space in case more of these foul things come. This drow should have the third part of that item. Okay. An ice crystal. Oh, so this goes on top, and the other part was the middle. Okay. Gale, you know what to do. Scattered notes are scrawled by a chaotic hand. Protector, guardian of the Adamantine Forge, from magma rose only in magma destroyed. Hot. Hammer. Hot. Hammer. Where? 
A small map is drawn underneath, marked by numerous X's. The following words are scratched beneath it. Dawn knows. And this so-called hot hammer is key to its destruction. Yes, we've worked that out already, Lazel. Now we're trying to work out where the place is. Charmed, I'm sure. However, already known, already known, excellent. Let's move. Jaria, we have a task for you. Combine. Where? Where's it gone? Where are my pieces of a thing? I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Lost in thought. I did not send them to camp. Despite everything. I should have the twisted piece of metal, the um, other piece. We know what I'm looking for, right? So why are they not abundantly present? Okay, look, we're going to pop that in there. There we go. Oh, bugger. Right. Fine, we'll do it this way. So. We have the staff. We have the icy piece of metal. And then, something like a spearhead to place on top. What have we made? A quarterstaff. Called Morning Frost. Plus one weapon enhancement. Able to cast Ray of Frost. Fine. Topple as a staff. Heart of Ice. When dealing cold damage, the wielder deals an additional one cold damage. Not much, but a little bit. Insidious Cold. Dealing cold damage of a spell possibly inflicts chilled upon the target. Much more potent. We have someone who would like this. He would probably like to devour its power, but for now... He would also like to use it. And it looks far more pretty than the hideous necromantic thing he was carrying before. The path less traveled. Let's see what else we can find here. No, nope. here first. A deformed chair. Some fish. Nothing else of obvious use. Some potatoes, however, are greatly appreciated. Right. Was, oh, I see you. Don't worry. You did not answer to your companion's call. It's going to jump. Nothing, 
Well, hello. There's another one. Over here. I see it. We've got scrolls for this kind of thing, haven't we? Excellent stuff. Uh oh. It leapt as I suspected it would. This one also desires to pounce, hanging oddly in the air along the way. Right. Okay. Drink and fight. Is the advantage because it jumped? Or underdog's bravery? Excellent stuff. Two of these may be a bit of a problem, so... Give her a vengeful aura. And then protect ourselves. You never know. It might just really work out. And we will stand here. Okay, no, we'll go a little bit further. Excellent work. Hey, girl. Um, I spy with my little eye something that begins with victim. That's really unfortunate. Uh oh. Seriously? That did not make a lot of sense. Okay, girl. Go to here. Go to there. Click on that. And. Then try to hit this one again. Excellent. Leave it. One of those will be really helpful right about now. No choice but to keep going. Go big. Right, we don't like you very much, especially this one. Ugh. So this doesn't do very high damage. It's all about the... Should use one of those. Right, okay. Is that self? It's self. Or... It's self. Well, now we know. We've got one of these. Very useful. You know what? There we go. It might just help. It helps a little. But apparently not enough. Why? Mate, you've got to know where you're in, when your reinforcements are near. Come on! Oh yes! You know what? Um, 
two people? Two people. I mean, we can just pelt it with fire for a while and miss. Um, that was truly unfortunate. For some reason, I thought she was standing there. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the uh, pistol gun, because what the hell? Okay, so it jumps for the knockdowns. And again. You know what? Seven points. If this hits, it didn't. Okay, look, here we go. So more of these foul hooks. Have to keep going. And once again, their reinforcements have not come. It's almost as if they were too far away or heard the call and thought, I really can't be bothered, you can suffer mush. Best to make it. Now woo. Okay, we're just here. Run, run, you fool! Before that thing explodes. Although, maybe the anti-magic just stopped it. Now, we're supposed to get the bar. I'll take that. I wonder... If... If everyone could take Susu Bark back to Omeluum. First things first, we'll send these back to camp. And then go back to the goblin village. Now, while we are here, we should refresh our memory of the actual designs. Two-handed sword, a sickle, and a dagger. Um, we have two people who like two-handed weapons. So. What am I to do? There's our sickle. And we better go find ourselves a trader. I don't know what he was supposed to give me for the empty sheets. And I didn't seem to receive anything, so I'm going to imagine the anti-magic 
field prevented him from opening up some kind of extra dimensional space and giving us the items. I wonder if I can dive a plume on this helmet. He's missing now, isn't he? He's moved on. This forge is quiet. Which means no two handed weapon for me today. Because I know I sold the weapons and armor to Damon and the other stuff to Aaron. However, it'll take a while for us all to recover, but you've helped us take the first step. That's quite all right. Of course. I, he won't have what I'm after, but I might have some things I can give to him. Spade. Um. Oh. This sword's already magical. And that's very reasonably placed. May you keep balance. The tieflings have all gone up into the mountains now, haven't they? They've left the grove. That's for certain. Wait a minute. Ah, it's Giorna. For a brief moment there, I thought it was Zoru. Which would not have made sense at all. You know what, actually? Let's see if she's happy now that the grove is under the druid's control once again. Peace in the grove once again. It's been too long. That it has, my lady. That it has. Well, we should probably go back to camp and rest, right? Um, some of us are looking is that blood? rather depleted. No, never mind. I'm going to have a quick look round for exclamation marks to see if anyone has anything particularly step. urgent to say. I'm not going to pry for particular conversations because... Oh! It's in the chest. Lovely. Actually, this is dumb. Mm, I want to have a word. And what's going on with Gale as well? Ah, my good.
good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I believe he's using fellow in the term of a companion rather than addressing her as a man. Uh, mate, things and stuff, you know? Two-handed swords? No two-handed swords? Okay then. Phantasmal killer? Great fun. Polymorph. Haste. Remove curse. We might want to... Mm, we don't have that much money. Okay. Let's sleep then. We might even get a dream. Um... You know what, let's just go this one. It's lower down. So far, so undisturbed. There we are. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna head out of camp for a bit. What's this doing right here? Did I bring this back here to open or has it been added at some point? It's empty for now. She can enjoy having a expensive chest next to her. I don't suppose she's got a two-handed sword tucked in there among her things. You never can tell. Right, let's go to... Back to the Michaelid colony, for now. Because we've got traders to check. Alright. Uh, no. Not there. Um, right. This is the wrong one, isn't it? Yes, it is. Blurg, where has your friend gone? Is he now in hiding? Rippleberg could sustain an entire village if seeded properly. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? I can ask for him to come out. Um... I do enjoy a good bargain, if anything in my private collection is to your liking. Hmm. This doesn't give any lightning charges of itself. We have lightning charges, lightning charges. Three temporary hit points isn't very much. Uh huh. Now that is a nice looking item. Hmm. Again, this requires us to be able to do something. Uh, I got some nice spell scrolls, mind. Very well. I have mushrooms to catalogue. And I have a merchant to seek out. <coughs> I will probably be leaving this place soon. a noble stock mushroom about you give it here gods know I've earned it 
I might try and get that in the next episode, but it may be too much bother. Now, lady, I've come to buy a normal two-handed sword if you have one. You do not have one. Well, it was worth a try. Anything else I can sell here? Um, not massively. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. It's gone on for quite long enough. I hope you all enjoyed this one. Obviously without a ginormous alchemical error at the end. And I will look forward to seeing you all in the very next episode. I'm going to say goodbye for now though and cheerio everyone. See you all soon.